Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Electrified Reviews. Today we're checking out the M560 P7 All-Terrain. This is another great go-anywhere, do-anything e-bike from AdMotor. Before we jump into the specs and use, I really quick want to say that at Electrified Reviews, we've had the pleasure of riding some great bikes from AdMotor, and they have a full fantastic lineup, including specialty bikes that are hard to find elsewhere. Now, the M560 P7 has so much going on with it, so we're going to highlight the specs and how they add up to a very versatile electric bike. Packed for adventure, this bike carries with it some amazing power. The 48 volt 17.5 amp hour battery, it has decent power available, but it has great longevity. The battery is secured onto the bike with a key and is easily removable for both convenience and security. If I were riding this bike around the city, I'm guessing that I would get around 30 miles of range at full throttle. Variably using the different levels of pedal assist, I might see over 60 miles on a single charge. But that is my guess, I can't promise anything on AdMotor's behalf, but just between you and me, I would totally commit to a long ride any day of the week. All the necessities for staying awesome are present on the bike as well. The rear rack is sturdy for various cargo needs, both side panniers and for strapping on top. AdMotor actually has a multifunction storage bag available, and it maximizes both sides and the top of the rack. This is a major plus in terms of accessories. There's no guesswork or anything like that. One thing I personally like about the rear rack is that it is removable. In case the rack doesn't fit the day's needs, you could just use a couple of tools to save on weight or clean up the look. The integrated headlight, the add-on tail light, both of them work together to keep you safe and compliant wherever you go. The light also serves to light up a dark trail if that's where you wind up in your travels. Moving on to the frame for a little bit, the riding position and comfort points help you last longer on the bike without experiencing fatigue. The seat can be lowered to a position lower than the handlebars, which gives the rider more of an upright ride, easing the stress on the upper body. In line with that, we've got comfort grips, comfort saddle with dual springs, and large platform pedals to keep you in the game longer. Even with these items, the battery is likely going to last longer than the rider wants to, which is exactly where you want to be. In the gear set, we're looking at a Shimano Altus derailleur, a very versatile front chainring to go with it. The front gear has a dash of utility because it includes raised flanges on the side to tunnel the chain into position. This is not only good for the bike, but it's also really good for your pants because it protects you from grease getting into places that it really shouldn't. Powering the bike is a 570 watt rear hub motor. Using a hub motor, the rider can more easily change gears without adding too much stress on the drivetrain. It really helps in longevity for those parts. Pedaling along with the motor will add some of your own torque to the already powerful 80 newton meters that are provided by the motor itself. It's not uncommon to see hub motors shooting out 30 newton meters of torque, and that can be fine in certain situations. But for the M560, you don't need to keep it in a certain situation. You've got lots of options for terrain. Now, speaking of that, there are so many places that you can take this bike. The 26 by 4 inch tires are hugely popular for this reason, allowing more open access in dirt trails, mud, sand, snow, loose gravel, and so much more. The knobby tread on these bad boys will pick up some extra grip where normal tires have already tapped out. Even past that, the M560 goes a step further. They've added suspension to the ride with the 100mm travel front fork. Now it's not just for comfort, it also plays a big role in maintaining control on the trail. In line with this is also the wide handlebars, which together with the grip of the tires, all of it helped to safely and easily traverse into new places and even new seasons. Then again, if you just want it to be a powerhouse on the road, you can use the built-in controls on the fork to lock it out, and that makes the most of speed and efficiency. When it comes to stopping this 74 pound machine, we've got a set of Tektro 180 millimeter disc brakes. These brakes provide great force for stopping, and they're also really easy to maintain. And personally, I like that part a lot. While the majority of this bike is slated for any terrain, the brakes do temper the imagination a little bit. I wouldn't recommend long, steep downhill rides with this bike, since the brakes really aren't up for that kind of high heat, high weight, high duration sort of application. So with this kind of bike, I would not drop in on the ski lift. 
One last thing before we wrap up. The AdMotor M560P7 comes in a variety of colors to match your style. With a lot of e-bikes, you get one choice of black. On occasion, you might get black or white, but with this model, you've got a lot more. AdMotor has the colors of khaki, army green, gray, blue, and they do have black with orange trim or black with a dash of red. These kind of options are a welcome change to the drab, all-black e-bike world that we currently have to wade through. Personally, I really like the blue with a little bit of orange color. For some reason, that speaks to me. It's hard to nail down exactly who this bike is made for because there are so many ways to use it, and it does a lot of them very well. The M560 is a passport to adventure. It has such a versatile range of terrain and power that really the world is your oyster. If this bike speaks to you and you aim to commute, cruise, find new trails, or if you just like the look, then by all means, check out the AdMotor website and imagine yourself in new places atop the M560 P7. Thank you so much for watching the review of this bike. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, let's see what the M560 P7 looks like in action.